Hey, yo, what is up, guys? I'm to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create personal scoreboards in Minecraft. So, if you guys don't know what these are, these basically are um, so sidebars that will display your name and stuff about you. So, let me show you. I'm going to show you something that what it looks like on my row. So, you see how on the side of my screen it says Minecraft factions, your stats, uh, name equals Smelly Curry, or just name Smelly Curry. Um, my per my personal time played, my personal money, um, my personal mail in time, and my personal bounty. So that's basically what I'm gonna show you guys today. So, um, it's pretty simple. It's just gonna use one resource pack, and that will be in the description of the video. And um, make sure you just click the link, description of the video, and you'll be able to download that. So, uh, let me put this pack on my world. Yeah, let's find it. Yep, action bar v1. Okay. So basically, all this is doing is just making it so it takes longer to the split to uh, reload the sidebar. So this is a very, very easy system. Anybody can learn it. All you got to learn is tell raw and yeah. So let me show you guys this. Let's get started. So oh, this is um, something I've been working on over there. <laughs> So all I gotta do is slash tail raw at s uh, right here. So boom, like that raw text. Very hard to remember. I forget this most of the time. Um, okay, and then inside of this we put text uh, words like that. Text, and then hey. Okay. Oh, I need to do title raw. My fault. Title raw. Um, add s and then title. There you go. All right. So you can now see it says hey on the side of my screen. So basically, what that is is we can now do custom sidebar displays. So say I want to say um, smell of curry is cool. So it's going to say that on the side of my screen. So how we're going to change that so it's more personalized is a little bit more complicated. So what we're going to, have to do is a little bit thing called execute. So we're going to, have to do slash execute at a close close quickly title raw at us. So this is basically executing every person in the game and then telling them their self. Um, so let's do something like uh, your that and then we're gonna do a slash in so this slash in is basically moving us down the line so if I do slash in and I say hey see that how see how that's one line down that's what we're doing so what we're gonna do with this we're gonna say your stats um, let's do that let's do slash in let's do name okay and this is where the cool part comes so you see how we only had text here before now there's another thing with this uh, selector, S E L door. So selector is basically who you selecting. So we're gonna be selecting at S. So we're selecting the execute all players, and then we're tell raw each one of them, and then selecting at S. So now this should display our. Oh, there we go. See how it says name smell of curry. Um, if I want to make this onto, let's say, uh, um, let's do a cow. So we're gonna do execute selector at e type equals cow radius of five. So now it's gonna say name equals cow because it's selecting whatever the name of that person is. So if I say I name this uh, name tag. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anvil, boom, boom, it's like that, and boom. And now if we do this thing again, look, so now it says name, blah, 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 because that's its name. So pretty simple. That's how you do stats with it. So, that, so now we got the first thing done. We got name. So let's change this back to that. And the next part is pretty complicated. So this is where scores come in. So we're going to actually do a little bit more text part of it. So we'll do text, um, and then we'll do uh, your 
money. Okay. And like that. So now it says your money out. Oh, let's do actually a dash in. So now it goes down a line. Okay. And you guys can customize however you want. This thing can look as cool as mine, how mine looks. Yeah. So it's really cool. So um we're gonna shoot credit forward, so let's go to objectives add um money dummy. And dummy doesn't matter. So if you've ever seen this is money dummy. All you have to do is put dummy and boom. So I've created an objective called money. So how we do this now is so how it says your money, and we're gonna have to do a thing called um I think it's score. These things are very hard to remember. Score and then that and then I think it's something like that. Uh, let me check real quick. Um, okay, so yeah, that's how you do it. So actually how we're doing this is, so we go, let's go right here. So we do another one of those. We're going to do score as score. And then um, like that, score and inside of that. We do name. So this is the name of the person. So say how we can do that cow again. We'll do like that. And then at S. And now we're going to do the objective of it. So we want to get the objective of money. So we're going to put objective and then money. Okay. And then now that's going to display our... See if I close that right. I did not. Uh score name I should have one two three I think I need another I don't um oh it's because I don't have any money that makes sense okay the scoreboard players add at us money uh ten so now we run this command again and boom look I got ten dollars so now it can display that if we want to do some more uh make this thing look a bit better we'll do like uh uh, oops. There we go. Now it says I got ten dollars. So it's very simple, and that's basically the mechanics of it. You can do a lot of things with this uh, system. This tiny system you can do so much with. Um, so you can do custom scoreboards on the side and everything. So all you got to do um, is change how it looks, change how it looks around. Um, so. If we want another objective, it'd be simple as that. So I'm gonna put this actually whole command in the description below, so you guys don't miss a single thing, and so you'll be able to copy and paste it very easily um, into your world, and you'll be able to mess with this. I recommend. So how how would you get it to display like all the time? So how you're gonna do that is you want to put it into a tick.json inside of a file, or you can just make put a put your thing into a command block. And just put on repeat always active and boom it'll just do this every time um and that will keep the thing always updating so if i do let's give myself a command block uh command block and let's put that command inside of here so put on repeat always active and see how it says 10 you can remove this title raw later see how i had to run it before now if i just update my score um let's give myself $140 and boom it automatically updated it instantly and that's as simple as just putting the command you make inside of here um, and yeah so that's basically it um, if you have any questions make sure to leave in the comments below I will answer them as soon as I can and I'll see you guys in the next video peace